You are about to you enter about to Gigi's, world. Gigi's world. Welcome back to the Gigi Naturals Homestead channel. So on yesterday, we went to pick up some chickens. Uh, I was able to negotiate a deal where we actually got eight additional chickens to add to our homestead. And we also got a coop. We actually got two coops, uh, a pen, and the chickens, all for a very, 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 very good price. And so I want to take you along with us to show you some of the chickens that we got. And we have also a, another very special addition to the homestead. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Okay. So we set up a barricade so that we can capture them. They are all over on that side. So Let's see what we can do. How easy this, how uh, difficult this is gonna be. So here is the coop, and it also has a run attached to it right there. So all of the chickens are under there right now. There they are, huddled up because they know we're coming to get them. Well, here is the large coop. Gotta kind of maneuver to get it. I guess they gotta tie it down and travel like that. They are loading up the chicken run down there. And over here, we have the chicks. And the coop. We gotta put the coop back together a little bit because we had some, had a rough time. Hi chickens. Hi girls. people so I'm coming. Alright, we got it back. Kind of put that chicken out. She is the one that was responsible for killing off all the baby chicks. We just released her. Let her run. Yep. Get in this coop. I run. Another coop. 
And then we got another cage. Ooh. And then we got another cage that is coming. And we didn't anticipate getting another rooster. We didn't even want another rooster. However, we are going to have another rooster. Where did that chicken go? He's guiding him to place the chicken, the second chicken coop over near the cabin. There's our Pamela, look at her. She's holding on to some fruit. Look at that. She is holding some fruit. She's still kind of small. And Pamela fruit gets humongous, so I don't know how long or how much of it she'll hold on to, but hey, a lot of fruit. This is something that's different, isn't it? All right, let's see the new chicks. We still got some stuff to do, but here they are. They're the new chicks. So we still got to get it set up. And there is one of our black copper marons. Uh -oh. They haven't discovered each other quite yet. She's seen them, but they are paying her no mind right now. So yeah, let's see. This black copper just found out that she's not so tough after all. Says she's in here. Oh, oh, she escaped. She escaped. You didn't finish this side over here. But yeah, she found out she's not so tough after all since she came in here with them. you have to say for yourself so today is coming to an end we got clothes hanging up all over the place and let me take one last little look at the chickens and see how they are doing Y'all, these are the sweetest chickens ever. They are so super sweet. And everybody is perched or either inside the coop 
we got this whole little setup because we have a baby right over in there. Oh yeah, everybody is perched. That one is injured, so that's why she is not as high as everyone else. And then there are two over in the corner and there are five over here. Wait a minute, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five of them right there. So these chickens that we bought today are just the sweetest. They are the sweetest chickens. So I definitely want more of them. And I will show you guys the rooster tomorrow. It's getting dark, so I am getting my tail inside. I think our neighbor has a fire going back there behind the RV. But I don't play around outside at night time, so I'm gonna go ahead and get back in the RV and have myself a wonderful night. So I'll come back tomorrow. He is. <laughs> There's the rooster. So this is our new rooster. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do. As y'all can probably hear, they are trying to find the extra chicken. <laughs> the extra hen. She is running away. She has been able to get away. So we're just um, trying to round her up and then we're gonna take her on with him. It is morning and our new rooster is talking. <laughs> so this rooster that we have is a silky and I don't know the exact kind as well as I don't know the exact type of chickens that these are but everybody as you can hear everyone is ready. Let's see if we have some eggs this morning. Um, we don't have any eggs so far this morning. Somebody did lay one on the ground yesterday up under here. So let's see if we can see it. Yeah. So somebody did lay that one on the ground yesterday and that's kind of all that we've had so far. But, you know, it may take them a few days to kind of get together. Let's see what's on this side, if anything. Oh, there was a chicken over there. I'm sorry, did I interrupt you? I'm so sorry, I think I interrupted her. So, I think I'm gonna let them out. These chickens are accustomed to free range. And so I think I'm gonna let them out so that they can go ahead and be walking around, be eating up some mites and bugs and all types of stuff. So yeah, I think I'm gonna let them out. I let them kind of enjoy themselves. You see how she's just following me? Yeah, somebody's laying an egg right now. This is new territory for you. Yeah, this is new territory, isn't it? But it's okay, come on out. It's okay, little bit, come on. Let's go get some food. 
Let's go find some food. You can do it. That one is walking better today. All right, let's get some food. You can come out. Come on out. It's okay. It's okay. Let's grab some food. There you go. Everybody's gonna get some. <laughs> Just want it all over the place. I want them to feel comfortable. Just kind of everywhere. Scavenging. Kind of all over the place. Come on, y'all gotta come out of there to get some. They are so patient and easy. Hold on, let me get them out. Come on. Come on. The door is open. Come on. You can come out. We gotta change this lock here and make it easier. There you go. You can come out now. They are so easy. Like, just their temperament. I don't know what these are. Can y'all tell me what these are? What kind of chickens these are? I don't know, but their temperament is so easy. And I just love it. I just absolutely love it. So eventually, I'm going to probably make a space, have Eco Neighbor make a space where we can get the silky to mate uh, with some of these. I'm gonna let the black copper melons kind of stay to themselves, mate among themselves, and make some more babies because I definitely want some more black copper melon babies. And I'm gonna let the silky mate with a couple of these and then kind of just see what happens because their temperament is just awesome so i like to have more of them and they've been through a lot <laughs> they've been through a lot in um free ranging so they know how to survive that one that we were actually trying to catch yesterday we never caught her we didn't ever catch her she is wherever she is she knew that um eco neighbor was chasing her and so when she saw our truck pull back up and him step out of the truck she took off <laughs> she just took off 